Hello, I'm here today with Ed Sloan, a man who needs no introduction, uh, a very famous person in our industry and a close personal friend of mine. Ed, how are you today? Doing fine, Phil. So, how are things with the uh, how are things with the coronavirus for you? Well, as you probably realize, Tennessee is um, under a mandatory uh, stay-at-home order. Uh, with with Wanda and I, we we have moved into a condo along with our our little dog Sophie. So uh, we're pretty much staying in, other than needing to get out and run errands of this or that. But for the most part, we're staying in. How's your extended family, Ed? How's everybody? Anyone impacted by the virus? No one impacted by the virus. And, and as you know, Wanda was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer back in October. And she's dealing with that and still under chemo for the next couple of months. But other than that, the family is doing great. What's it like going to the hospital? Do you go to the hospital uh, with Wanda for her chemo treatments? Uh, yes, but uh, as of two months ago, the only thing we can do is drop her off at the front door and pick her up when she's done there. They're not allowing any visitors, family or otherwise into any of the hospitals. Well, of course, we, all of us, uh, Barbara and I wish Wanda a speedy recovery. Uh, what do you think the long-term impact is going to be on our economy, the long-term impact of the coronavirus? Well, I think our economy, when we went into this, was very robust and probably was due some type of a correction. But I think as we come out of this in the coming months, uh, we're going to see the economy rebound whether it will rebound to previous levels or not is yet to be seen. But I think the way we do business across all markets is going to change. Whether that changes to more people working out of their homes or more people using this type of media for meetings, etc. But I think we will have less people congregating, whether it be trade shows, seminars, or whatever in the future than we've had in the past. I have to believe that you've been to more RSNAs than you can remember. Uh, do you think you'll attend RSNA this year? Does it make you nervous to go to a large trade show? I think we will all be somewhat apprehensive about going to uh, RSNA or other large trade shows. Will we go? That's yet to be seen. Um, I would like to think this thing will be under enough control by then that we would feel comfortable going, but that will be uh, reevaluated when we get closer to the RSNA time. What about uh, healthcare in general? Do you believe that uh, the healthcare industry will change as a result of the coronavirus? And if so, how? Well, I think just from the economic standpoint, I think there'll be uh, some more consolidation just because of the impact that this whole quarantine thing has had on different businesses just enabled to survive economically. I think there'll be some more consolidation. I think the, that will not only be in our market of the, the maintenance and systems and repair, but it will also be in the hospital uh, arena. I think we'll, we'll see more hospitals coming under larger umbrellas. But I think the, the overall healthcare delivery will pretty much remain the same. It will just be uh, administered 
differently. Now, I have to believe that you, knowing you as I do, and sometimes I speak to you and you're here and there and somewhere else, you got to have two or three million miles under your belt. Uh, when this is all over, where do you think the first place you'll travel to will be? Juan and I have a, a very uh, close connection to Rome. Uh, probably one of the first international places we will go after we go to our condo in Florida, finally, uh, would probably be Rome. Uh, and you would think that would be the last place since the, the effect that the coronavirus has had on Italy. But Rome just has a very strong attraction for both of us. Only be um, a trip after we're for sure the there's a vaccine at least for the coronavirus. Rome is really a wonderful city and uh, I love going there myself, but I was sort of hoping that you would say the first place you would travel would be New York City, but <laughs> I guess I must live with disappointment. Well, uh, any advice that you have for people in business right now? I, I think as, as usual at any other time that, that we have pullbacks in the market, uh, uh, just staying the course, uh, get back to the basics, uh, try to keep everybody healthy and take care of your employees. And if you take care of your employees, you will survive the, the ups and downs of the business. Words to live by from Ed Sloan. Ed, thank you very much for spending time with me today. And uh, I, you know, I, I pr wish the best to Wanda and uh, thanks to everyone watching. Thank you.